Hello and welcome. So, for the man of faith who thinks Bible is extremely personal, so personal that he won't recite a single verse, believes that the election is legitimate if he wins. He will lose only if it's a rigged election. If that's the case, why contest the elections? Just declare himself the winner, right? Oh well, that cannot happen because it's the United States. But he can say whatever he wants, isn't it? Is that a plan that's hiding in plain sight? Is there a reason why he says mail-in votes are fraudulent in all states except Florida? Why he will lose only a rigged election? Why the law and order president asks people to commit felony by voting twice? Is there a reason why he is for in-person voting in the middle of a pandemic? Or is this something similar to the coronavirus strategy? Truth in private and a cocktail in public? Did anyone ever hear him say that he will concede if he loses the election? Oh wait. He will only lose if the election is rigged, which means even if he loses, oh, he won't lose, so there is no need to concede. It is what it is. An absolute possibility, at least that's what the Biden campaign thinks. Biden has now hired two former solicitor generals and hundreds of lawyers to face off any legal roadblock that Trump may end up forcing him through. The country should have never come to this place, a place where one side is saying that only they can win long before the first vote is even cast. Democracies don't send vans filled with unidentified men in the middle of the night to pick up their own citizens. Only dictatorships do. Has any dictator resigned or left the post on his own? Oh wait, it's not dictatorship if there is an option for an alternative, isn't it? So Biden is slowly expanding his legal war room to counter any roadblock that Trump may end up throwing his way. And we already know, according to the president, mail-in voting is fraudulent except in Florida. And poll after poll has already indicated that majority of Republican voters are going to vote on the election day and majority of Democratic voters are going to mail their votes. In-person votes would be more or less be counted on the election night. And since they are highly Republican votes, Trump should be leading in possibly all the states. And there is a possibility that he will even have a lead in California and New York. And when mail-in ballots are opened in the following days, which is overwhelmingly democratic, Trump's lead will start vanishing with every hour and possibly be over in several states within a few days. But hey, remember, according to him, mail-in votes are fraudulent. What if he claims victory on the election day and claims all the votes that are for Biden are a fraud and declares himself the winner? Of course, if he takes that route, it will end up in courts. Trump may still lose, but his objective would be served. He never lost. Biden just stole the election. We also need to remember what happened in Florida 20 years ago. That election threw up an extremely close result between Bush and Al Gore, which resulted in a recount. The GOP contested the recount in the US Supreme Court, but Florida's GOP-controlled state legislature also got ready at that time to appoint a new set of electors to vote for their candidate, George W. Bush. But thankfully, it didn't go that far, as the Supreme Court in a 5-4 verdict stopped the recount. How things will play out this year is certainly not going to be clear until after Election Day. But Biden's team are not taking anything for a chance and it's a good thing. But at the end of the day, if in case things do proceed in that direction, a lot will depend on Vice President Mike Pence, Nancy Pelosi and Republican senators who have often said that the Constitution is more important than their life. And with the world watching, what they do will set the tone for the country's future in the next 100 years. Let's hope they do the right thing, if the fate of the country falls in their hands. Thanks for watching.